Now, let us suppose that we don't use the help of the, anti of the antibody with the activation of the complement system. Okay? So, let us suppose that this is a bacteria. Now, remember, we will not use the help of the antibody. So, we will basically discuss gram-positive and gram-negative bacteria and the difference within the complement system. Now, let us suppose that this is a gram-negative bacteria. Now, we know that gram-negative bacteria express some things on the, on the surface that are called endotoxins. Okay? And those endotoxins are basically something that is called lipopolysaccharides. Okay? Now, this is the endotoxin right here. Now, the special thing is that you, you remember C3B, or C3 in general, A and B. This is C3. Now, this is in an inactive form. When it encounters the, the endotoxin, it becomes activated and it becomes C3B which gets attached to the endotoxin so this is C3B and C3A just basically goes away okay now C3B when it is bound to an endotoxin it has the ability to bind to a certain protein that is called B protein B okay now, B protein also has an A portion. Let me just draw it like this. This is a B protein, an A portion, and a B portion of the B protein. And when it encounters C3B, it actually splits so that this is called BB, and this is BA, and BA goes away, and BB stays. Okay? Now, Remember C3 convertase when we talked about it in the last video we said that it was C4B C2B right now there is a different name with a different sequence it is called C3B BB this is also called C3 convertase okay so what that do what that does I'm sorry is that it converts C3 this is an A and a B it converts it into C3B which remains bound and C3A which goes away now in the same manner in the previous video we talked about that C3B will bind to C5 and it will go it will basically split that into C5A and C5B and C5 will bind to C6 C7 C8 and C9 okay and you remember the complex we talked about the circular arrangement we called that MAC membrane attack complex and it will basically destroy in the same manner okay so this is uh, the this is not a pathway that involves remember the classical pathway we said it involves antibodies and those antibodies were IgG and IgM now, so this pathway is called the alternate pathway because it alternated, okay? It did, it did not use antibodies, okay? Now, some people may ask, okay, so what happens to the gram-positive bacteria? A bacteria that does not have endotoxin, that do not express endotoxin. On the on the surface. Now, now a thing about gram-positive bacteria. Let's draw a gram-positive bacteria right here. Okay, 
Now this is a gram positive bacteria. Now instead instead of expressing endotoxins, they express something that is called a mannan protein. Okay? Now, this mannan protein within the bloodstream there are some things that are called lectins. And we have a special uh, subfamily of lectins that are that are called mannan binding lectins. Okay, or the MBLs. All right? So a mannan binding lectin, let's give that a green color, okay? So this is a mannan binding lectin. It co it comes from the bloodstream and it binds to that mannan. It's a mannan binding lectin. So it binds to that Okay, and this is the MBL. This is the MBL. Now that ma that mannan binding lectin will remind us of the classical pathway because C1 will attach here, followed by C4, B, followed by C2B. This is called a C3 convertase followed by C3B, and this is called C5 convertase, followed by C5B, and then C6, 7, 8, and 9, and we produce the, the MAC again, the membrane attack complex. Okay? So basically, uh, this is called, this is not an alternate pathway, this is called the lectin pathway. And that concludes it. all three pathways of the activation of the complement system.